Mirabelle on Facebook said we had to come to Do6 to check out their Bloody Marys. But Mirabelle, yeah, more of a beer guy. But I do hear that Do6 do some phenomenal beer-infused foods. I think we can both drink to that. Cheers. Bruce, I think it's fair to say that, that John Dusek is an important part of this. So oh, very much so. In 1890, when this place was the second largest Bohemian populated area outside of Bohemia, right. that is, John Dusek was a visionary who wanted this to become the beacon of the community. He wanted to bring arts and entertainment over from Bohemia. And you guys have reintroduced that, not just here inside Dusek, but you've got uh, Talia Hall as well, and you've got the... The punch house right. downstairs. And don't forget about the tack room out back where you have the there. piano bar. It really was taking the bones of what he created and reestablishing it. Old world, super cozy and comfortable. Casual. I mean, just you sitting next to me I feels was, I was, very uh, casual. I was going to say, I almost feel like we're on a shade. It's the most lunch. casual interview I've ever been on. It's, ca it's casual. It's really comfortable and not pretentious at all. What makes you guys here at Dusex Chicago's best for beer-infused food? The whole idea of what we were doing here at Dusex is taking beer and having the chef come up with items that pair greatly with, with these different types now, of... Now you're just talking sexy. That ain't the beer talking, because I haven't had a single beer yet. Well, let's so go get you a love. beer. All right, that's a good idea. Let's go and find Chef Jared, and let's go get a beer as well. All right. Beer menu's nice. Great beer. You can't beat that. But clearly, we're aware that you like drinking beer. I'm a drinker of everything. I think we're aware they like drinking, but you haven't heard the extent to which I love to drink. <laughs> but from the looks of things, Chef Jared's heard the extent to which I like to eat. This is just a huge amount of stuff going on. Not just one meat, not just two meats, all the meats. That, Elliot, is the beautiful thing about Chocrute. 18 hours cooking the sauerkraut, six hours cooking the duck cone feet, it's casing and making sausage. I haven't got time for that. I mean, we've got enough 312 here to maybe go through those those hours, but... I would need three times that amount. Well, I'd need, I'd need five times. Well, I like where you're going with this. Yeah, with a spoon. This episode is the best. Put a little beer in here. Okay, into the sound. Just a little bit. This has been braised with probably about three or four pints of beer. Jared, I'm not doing anything right now. Add some you, pepper. Do you want, oh, really? Yep. You want to slide that into there? To continue on with our process, sir, this is some uh, compressed apples that have been cooked in uh, beer. Oh my god, they just smell boozy. We've gently poached off some uh, potato tournays. Add a little beer in there and slide it right in there. Plate Let's up. do that. <laughs> Jared can drink. Jared's a drunk. And a damn good chef. Bruce is just like me, just dying to dig in. Do, do you have a preference? Do you have anything you want to go for first? Good, because I'll just go for this. There you go. Is that 312 mm -hmm. soaked and drenched for hours and hours on end. That's right. Is just succulent deliciousness. Perfect with the broth. There's such complex flavors and such bold flavors, but together they work really well. Wouldn't this be perfect for a nice romantic date, sharing this dish? No, it would be ruined because I would eat it all. That is beer-infused perfection. That makes me very happy. It's a moment. <gasps> it is a moment. See, and this is a date. Yes. Yeah, and I am probably going to eat the rest of this.